Okay, this is our second example of proof by contradiction. We're asked to prove that the square root of 2 is irrational. And so, we're going to start off by assuming that it is rational. We're going to show how this leads to a contradiction. It's going to lead to something being true and false at the same time, and that can be. And so, if the square root of 2 is irrational, thus, uh, what that means is that the square root of 2 is equal to some a over b, where a and b are integers, and b is not 0. Now, um, if a and b had common factors, then it could be reduced. And so what we want to do is we want to say that this fraction is in lowest terms. So we're going to say that, that a and b have no common factors. Or in other words, the fraction is in lowest terms. Okay, great. So, um, that leads us to uh, four different cases. Um, first case is if they're both even. A is even and B is even. If this is the case, then this would contradict the fact that it's in lowest terms. If A is even, then A is equal to you know twice some some n and B is equal to twice some k and if we go A over B we could reduce so, so this contradicts the fact that we're in lowest terms. They should have no common factors. Okay, then. Second case would be if um, if a is odd and um, regardless uh, uh, let's go uh, b even and uh, and b is even if this is the case then when we take a look at the equation that we have which is root 2 equals a over b and we can we can square both sides and what we get is that um, 2 is equal to a squared over b squared or that 2b squared is equal to a squared This means that a squared is even. And we saw from earlier that if a squared is even, then we can conclude that a is even. This is a contradiction. We assume that a was odd. This contradicts the fact that a was odd. So basically, um, if we assume that A is odd, we're always going to come to this contradiction. So case 3 is kind of already done for us. Case 3 is if A is odd and, uh, and B is odd, 
It's the same argument as in case two. So we end up with the contradiction saying that A is even. So the final case then would be if uh, A is even and B is odd. That's the final case. Let's show how this also leads to a contradiction. Go back to our um, original statement that the square root of 2 must be equal to some a over b. Make that same conclusion that a squared is 2b squared, squaring and then multiplying. Now, we would need to conclude that b squared is even. How can we conclude that? Well, um, we can say that um, the fact that a is even means that Hmm. Uh, the fact that A is even means that uh, that uh, A is equal to 2K and so A squared is equal to 4K squared this is a 2K or K is some integer If a squared is 4k squared, then what we're looking at then is 4k squared is 2b squared. Divide by 2, and what we get is um, that 2k squared is b squared, or that b squared is even. And if b squared is even, then of course, this, um, from what we saw earlier, we'll have then that b is even. That contradicts the fact that, uh, that b was odd. So, each time, no matter what the case may be, we have a contradiction. So, we have to conclude that none of these are possible. And if none of these are possible, then basically we can't write it as a fraction of A over B. So everything was contradicted. All cases were contradicted. All cases led to a contradiction. So, we must conclude then that our original assumption that the square root of 2 is rational is wrong. So, the square root of 2 is actually irrational. And that's what we were trying to prove. Okay, great.